Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. How can somebody so lovely be such a bitch? We're watching Lady Frankenstein. I am my father's daughter. And that's the movie. See you next week. All right, there is a little more to it than that. Something I'd rather you not see. Was that Joseph Cotton? I was hoping you wouldn't do this. Cotton was one of the most respected actors of the 1940s, a member of Orson Welles' Mercury Theatre Company. Here, directed by... No relation. Would it matter? The plot is simple and predictable. Cotton's Frankenstein creates a monster. Slightly fire damaged. Who kills him. <coughs> because... You cannot use the damaged brain. Frankensteins really are careless with the brains they use. The creature has the mind of a murderer. It kills for the sake of killing. The creature now goes on the rampage. <laughs> yeah, that's obviously the direction to run. Now no nude woman or man accompanied by a nude woman <laughs> is safe. Are you in the mood, Captain? No. He's tracked by a policeman who thinks he's Clint Eastwood. Lynch, you cheated me. And has a high opinion of himself. At least half a foot taller than you, Captain. <laughs> really? That would make him more than seven feet tall. Oh, that's sweet. You think you're six foot six. I'm not laughing, Lynch. Frankenstein's daughter, Tanya, now sets out to create her own monster. There's only one solution. To create a second creature. You're gonna have to explain your thinking on that one. Our creature will kill my father's murderer. Perfectly logical. Then you could create another monster to kill that one. And so on. Such a grotesque dream. The main thrust of this film is obviously, it's Frankenstein, but with a woman. Now, father, I may be a woman, but I am also a doctor. And Tanya holds her own as a scientist, despite dressing somewhat differently in the lab. I'm a doctor. Her goal is to create a monster that will take care of her father's mistake and preserve his memory. Time to think of some way to save my father's reputation. Initially. Soon we'll be together again. I don't remember Peter Cushing doing this with Christopher Lee. You are an obnoxious man. Extremely vulgar. Tanya's creature will be the perfect combination of her handyman Thomas's body, his body strong and beautiful, and the brain of her father's assistant, Charles. I can't love Thomas. He hasn't your mind. Now, obviously, there is an implied sexism to the idea that a woman can't create a monster for science and to preserve her father's memory, but just because it's so darn hard to find a husband. Thomas, with your brain, there's a man I could truly love. More problematic is that the film seems to vacillate between the two points of view. Doesn't make any sense. Sometimes it seems that Tanya is merely using her sexuality to manipulate the love-struck Charles. Do you ever think of touching me? Other times, there's clearly only one thing on her mind. You're a young man again. Handsome, strong, intelligent and beautiful man. Before the operation, she seduces Thomas. You actually do understand what's going on, don't you? But is that only so Charles can kill him? <laughs> During the operation, when there's no one else around and so no reason for her to put on an act, she kisses Thomas. But immediately afterwards... And after the operation, the plan to use one monster to kill the other no longer seems to matter to her. We must get away tonight, Charles. But then... Because you know that no matter which of us survives, you still win? If she's a fiendish genius manipulating men for her own ends, I could buy into this. Would you like to have my body bend to you? If she's a weak, frustrated woman, desperate for a man, not so much. You love me. 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 I belong to you. Yes, Thomas. My love. But the real problem remains that it's neither one thing nor the other. I find your probing thoroughly impertinent. So, a promising idea that ends up as pimp my husband. I want that so much. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for new bad movie reviews every Tuesday. The Frankenstein family doesn't know how to let a bad idea die, but are there any other classic horror icons whose families you'd like to see get involved in the business? Your ideas in the comments below. Thank you very much. Great That'll promise. be all.